What's up everyone, Darkblade here with the next episode in my Mass Effect 3 multiplayer class summary guide videos. <laughs> anyway, we're going to be talking about the Human Sentinel in this video, a class that combines biotics and tech for interesting results. Anyway, the way I spec my Human Sentinel, as always, is for silver and gold. There are a few changes I would like to add, but unfortunately... I don't have any spare power resets at the moment. Anyway, the main bread and butter of a human sentinel for me is the warp throw combo. Spec both of them out for maximum biotic explosion damage and you are pretty much like an Asari adept almost, just without the CC which is a down point. But in its defense it has tech armor which means more survivability than the Asari adept and especially if you can go into fitness and that. Of course the Alliance training and fitness is, are down to preference, I find. But anyway, the Human Sentinel, I always feel you shouldn't bog it down with too much heavy equipment. I always try to carry either a light assault rifle and a pistol, or just a pistol on its own. Or the assault rifle on its own. But anyway, light weaponry is kind of a must, especially if you have gone for the warp and throw combo spec. So the abilities the Human Sentinel have are as follows. It has Tech Armor, which is armor you turn on at the start of the match. It grants you added protection, but also allows you to activate it, making a AoE type ability that damages opponents near you. The second ability the Human Sentinel has is Warp. I've talked about this in my Human Adept video, but for reminder, it's an ability, a projectile, that hits a target, causing damage as always, but can put a debuff on the enemies. It can also, well, biotically charge them as you see here. And you can follow that up with another biotic move to cause a biotic explosion damaging everyone around them. As I said, warp also puts a debuff on people. This can be of course cr increased in strength with the power tree. You can make it so that people take more weapon and power damage as well as making your biotic explosions better and increasing the damage to armoured targets greatly as well. The final ability the Human Sentinel has is Throw. This is basically a strong projectile that throws the enemies away, knocking them to the ground. This can be handy in itself as it does knock weaker opponents to the floor, giving you a time to adjust your attack or plan your next move. It's also handy as well if you can, well, get a target that can't fly and knock him clear off an edge. It's always fun to see. But the thing about throw, what I feel it is designed for, is to activate your biotic explosions. Once you've hit warp against someone, stand back, send a throw at them, and enjoy the fireworks. As for the specific specs of the throw tree, I normally go for increased force and combo damage, basically. You can go for reach charge timer and spam throw, but it's not as strong as the warp throw combo as a whole. So these are the basic moves that the Human Sentinel has, and a kind of gist of how to use them, especially the warp throw combo like I've been going on about. Of course, you don't actually have to spec like this. I mean, I've seen Human Sentinels as well spec for more weapon damage and survivability. Maxing out your tech armor greatly increases your survivability, so if you're having trouble staying alive, maybe go for that. Maybe reduce the power in throw as well if you don't like the warp throw combo. I don't know who wouldn't, but there are always options. One spec I've seen sent human sentinel players play as is that they, like I said, they max out tech armor, fitness, and alliance training. They also max out warp. They spec warp so weapon damage is increased on a person who has been warped. And then they finish off the target with their more powerful and more heavy weapons. This of course is for players who don't like biotics I assume, or don't like to rely on biotics more than they do their rifles and their sniper rifles and guns and whatnot. <laughs> I don't personally know which is the best way to play, I think the biotic route is better for the human sentinel, I might be wrong if I am, leave a comment, but there are, like I said, options and that won't make, that's what makes the game great in my opinion, is that you don't have to do anything one way. Anyway, I've been digressing. As you can see here that your biotic abilities can aren't as useful against some opponents as the others. For example, the Guardians for Cerberus, their, the biotic abilities can't get through their shields. They can knock them back, and which gives you an opportunity to finish them off with gunfire, or your teammates to finish them off. 
Another opponent is the phantoms and banshees, I should say. They have a horrible tendency when they've got their barriers up to absorb biotic abilities against them. This is really annoying, so you have to rely on your weapons or back off and wait till your teammates take down their barrier before attacking them with biotics. Of course, even then it doesn't always work as they seem to still absorb the biotic abilities that are attacked from them head on. So attack them from the back or flank them and hit them from the sides with your biotic abilities. So anyway, the human sentinel, I'm going to summarize a bit now. It's a mixed bag class. It can be one or two things I see. It can be a biotic expert or it can be a heavy weapons expert. I tend to favor the biotic expert as the warp throw combo is very powerful. Warp should be maxed out, I feel, for both versions of the Human Sentinel. For the Weapon Expert, it's great to increase the weapon damage on the target, and for the Biotic user, you need it to activate your Biotic explosions, as well as to, again, increase damage to the target. Now, Tech Armor, I would take if I was going the weapon route. If I wanted to be reliant on weapons, I would definitely take Tech Armor, maybe instead of Throw, even and I would probably max it out for damage resistance and protection. But on the flip side, the biotic human sentinel doesn't really rely on tech armor. At least I feel it doesn't. Of course, if you're going this route as well, remember that you can't overburden yourself with heavy weapons as it will increase your cooldown of warp and throw too much. Of course, when the warp and throw is on cooldown, put a few pop shots in there. You never know, you might get a kill out of it. Anyway, this has been my little guide to the Human Sentinel Mass Effect 3 multiplayer. If you have got any additional tips you would like to give, please put them in the comment below. Hope you enjoyed this video. I've been Darkblade. Subscribe and like for more.